the lecture said it closed in three sites. Is, is, that going to be re is that reflected in this? That would be in your election cost and your actual election budget. This is actually the cost for maintaining the building. Um, so, so this is just three. this is just the Oak Street building. Yeah. Right. This isn't the other. The, okay. And some of the others, it depends. There are some um, polling sites that we pay for. There are mm -hmm. some that we do not pay for. And it depends on whether or not the ones that they are eliminated are, are combined um, or pay or no pay. Because they, they listed like three that were supposed to be closed this upcoming election, and someone's going to shift, uh, just sh shift some of the voting <coughs> places south of the county. Down the Page 21, Governmental Judicial Admin. So which building do you consider the governmental building? Governmental building is where the tax commissioner is located. Okay, thank you. Can I ask what it says? That, mm. yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot it's on the side of the building over there. I was like, what building is that? I want to put Santa Claus back in the window. <laughs> you remember that? Hey, You're showing yay, Brother Richard. <laughs> I remember that. Page 22, engineering. Mm -hmm. Page 23, NPDES, stormwater. That's all set by associated fees. Mm -hmm. Contingency. Page 25, Superior Court. Page 26, Community Service. I, I have a question. Though. That's the ankle monitoring system, right? That's what we're talking about. Um, being new, trying to understand how um, if we don't have inmates in the jail that are now on ankle monitoring, our crime rate hadn't gone up so much that so we're filling those beds or we renting out the space to other counties. I mean, how are we not reducing costs? I, I have failed to understand. Well, if we have less people in to uh, house, how are our costs still the same or going up? I, I don't know that Stephanie and I are prepared to uh, give you a definitive answer on the interpretation that we can only share with you the numbers from the Sheriff's Department uh, and comparative cost with this service. So we had anticipated as Commissioner Raines and Evan said that there would be an appropriate reduction, not necessarily a dollar for dollar reduction, but an appropriate reduction uh, by removing these individuals from the jail, the daily costs associated with that, as well as uh, related medical costs. Why those numbers are as they are, I really don't have a good answer for you. Um, but one of the solutions that we have as far as dealing with the elected officials um, and all the offices really, it's not just elected officials, it'll be all the boards and departments and uh, constitutional officers, is that uh, once, you're, once the budget is uh, completed and ready for presentation, we will make a copy of this for the respective uh, offices um, and the chairman, I believe, will be meeting with a number of those key offices to, I guess, address the concern of both the lack of revenue and the uh, increased expenditure associated with those offices and seek their support in trying to maintain a better handle on both of those items to try to make the revenues an appropriate amount saying try to go out and just increase revenue but have an appropriate amount of revenue for the services provided and a more uh, conscientious control on the expenditure so that commissioner may in turn provide you some of the answers because you have had presented to you by Steve Ogg the numbers associated with right. the individuals uh, and I've had 
conversation with the judges where they feel very strongly that this is a uh, worthwhile and cost-effective program. Uh, and I support it. I think it's I mean, it too. Just, we should, should be able to see a bottom line on a reduction on, if on we can, cost. Though. If we can determine maybe through a uh, better analysis of the numbers from the Sheriff's Department as to why those increase, uh, and maybe that will help. I do know in conversation with the Sheriff, We've had individuals that um, that were not participants of this program, but somebody was picked up or and uh, they were released on their own recognizance because I think they had some, uh, I think they were under uh, dialysis and they got out of jail, walked straight to Winn Dixie, picked up a piece of meat, meat section. Walked out, stole it, so they could go back in and get the treatment. So there are circumstances and situations where um, there are uh, excuses, I guess, uh, as to why that takes place. I think everybody um, can see the benefit of the program and, and you know uh, had different you know, anticipations of the results, especially when you heard the report given. And we were even thinking about expanding the program or what have you, but you know, when you, when you go look at the other side of the coin, it kind of makes that reservation. Yeah, I think it really comes down fairly simple. If you take 100 out of beds, but you add 150, then you, it's not going to show up here. So that's where the problem is. Where, where are 150 coming from? Is that space we're renting out to other counties, or our crime increased so much? We invested more people, we put them in the vacant beds. I mean, it, Maybe I'm a simple thing, but to me it comes down to those two things. Well, I think it does. I think also with the economic situation, again, that we're all in, and everybody, this goes all the way down, is that you see a lot more of the, the let's say, the petty, petty theft, the petty crime type things being committed, shoplifting, and those sort of things, and that's where a lot of your changes are at in Michael. But there again, those are numbers that will have to come from the sheriff's department. I, I would believe it's possible. I was more of beds. I was more or less concerned about the medical costs. Definitely should. Sure, absolutely. Page 27, part of the 